Hi, so I knew I was forgetting one of the basic types. Uh, type of will return function when given a function object in JavaScript. And we're going to use that today. Um, I'm going to talk about something called a product. A product is uh, like a tuple, is the way it's usually talked about in, in computer science. So here we see that a product, and it's indexed by numbers, is you give it a, an array of contracts. Now this contract here says, I expect my array of contracts to be an array of functions. And contracts are functions, and guarded functions are functions, so this is checking that the input is the right kind of thing we need. We grab the length. Then we return a function with some arguments here. These arguments are going to also be an array. So we check that the arguments are an array. We check that the arguments have the same length as the array of contracts we passed in. If they don't, then we throw an exception, say, hey, you gave me the wrong number. It's not going to match up. Start out with our result, and then we apply each contract to the corresponding argument and store it in the result array. And then we return that. So I can make a product of, for instance, int32 and string. Int32 stir is now a contract that expects to receive an array containing an int32 and a string. So I can say int32 stir of 5 joe. And this will pass. Let's check it out. 32 stir Joe. Pop open the console. You can see that JS Fiddle today is having some problems with Code Mirror, but it still works. There we go. These are some things that we had logged before, but the last line, 5 and Joe, passed the contract. If, on the other hand, I had five and a function. This should fail. Run this. And sure enough, type error expected a string. So here, where we were hoping for a string, we got a function instead. Now, products are far more general than just pairs of things. Um, and in this, this uh, tutorial, I'm not going to go into that. But the next one I'll do, we'll look at products in more generality and see how they turn up everywhere from pairs of contracts, as we've seen, to minimum, um, greatest common divisor, intersection of sets, uh, things like the mitochondrial eve, the most common uh, recent matrilineal ancestor, uh, sorry, the nearest common matrilineal ancestor, and um, Anyway, a bunch of things like that all fall out of the definition 
of a categorical product. And it just happens to be pairs of sets or pairs of contracts uh, when we're looking at contracts and guarded functions. So this um, definition of a product takes in an array of contracts. And arrays are indexed by numbers. So we have this prod n. Object literals, on the other hand, or hash maps is the, is the more generic term for them, are indexed by strings. So we can do a version of this contract creator by changing numbers to strings. So let's try that. Bar prod s is a function. C's. And here, instead of an array of functions, we want an object of functions. We haven't, we haven't written that one yet, but it should be obvious what it does. So let's finish writing this thing, and then we'll go write object of. Um, we're not going to have a length property. We just have to iterate over the keys of this object, C's. Turn function. Args. We want args to be an object this time. And then a result is going to be an object. We're going to iterate over the keys. And this part is just the same as before. Return result and we're done. So again, we expect this thing to be a hash map of contracts. This checks object of is essentially saying I want a hash map where of course the keys are strings because that's the only thing we can do in JavaScript but the values are functions. And since contracts and guarded functions are both functions, this should pass. Once I've got that object, then you give me some other object with the same keys, and I look up each key in that, and the result at that key is the contract at that key applied to the value at that key. Then we return it. So both of these are examples of products in that I could pair up, again, an integer in 32 and a string. Prod s, but this time I would have to give the keys explicitly. So i in 32 s star. Now I can apply that in 32 star number 2 of Well, before we had five and Joe. This one was fail, so let's set that back to Joe. Down here we have I colon five, S colon, quote, Joe. Get rid of these previous console.logs.
one cent does not yeah. Oh. Well, I'm sure they're in there somewhere. All right, so we give it a run. Oh, there's an unexpected semicolon somewhere. Gotta be in here. That's what I did before. S. This matches that. This matches that. This matches that. Ah, we got my closing print. There we go. Run. Oh, yes, we forgot to do object. Um, var obj of is a function that takes a contract and we want to verify that well we need to return a contract so return function x now x should be an object all of whose keys have the uh, well pass the the contract C so say for var i in x let's say result i equals c of x bracket i. Return result. So again, this is a map, right? Objov takes a contract and maps it over, maps it over every element of x, every property of x. Um, result object has all of these stored in it and returns that result. So it's a map. Now our int32 str2 it's using product indexed by strings which it's using object of is ready to go. So put that back up, run there we go, yeah. an object where i is 5 and s is Joe. And of course, if we change this to something else, like false, then we run, and we should accept, get expected a string. False is not a string. If we quote it, then it's a string. There we go. So all is good. That's a product, is a tuple.